The History Behind Colorblindness The idea of colorblindness was first discovered by a man named John Dalton. He first came up with the idea in 1794 when he mixed up colors like scarlet with green. After that, he came up with a theory that the aqueous humor of the space in between the cornea and the lens had a blue tint affecting his vision. Once he died, Dalton's request was to study his eyes. The scientists took out Dalton's eyes and proved his own theory incorrect. After his death, more studies were completed to see what truly caused colorblindness. To understand how colorblindness works, we need to know how we perceive color. First, light enters the eye through the lens. Light is then directed into the nerve cells. Inside these nerve cells, rods and cones send the color information to the optic nerve. After that, the color information is processed into our brain. How is colorblindness an issue? If not known already, colorblindness is a vision problem where the person diagnosed cannot tell the difference between two or more colors. Common cases where colors are mixed up are red with green and yellow with blue. Complete colorblindness with black and white is very rare. Colorblindness isn't actually a form of blindness. In fact, it is a deficiency of color in sight. And about 4.5% of the world is colorblind, most of which are males. It is not a big health issue, except for those with severe colorblindness might have trouble. But, the mild cases could still change lives. Colorblindness, or color vision deficiency, affects people's everyday lives. Tasks like driving, making food, and using certain electronics are impacted by their vision. People can't be hired for certain jobs as well. An example is that if you have a severe form of colorblindness, you can't be a pilot. Other jobs affected by this reduced ability are firefighters and being in the military. How is someone actually born with colorblindness? Females can be carrier of the trait, but not actually have colorblindness. For a boy to have the trait, his mom must have the colorblindness or carry the gene. For a girl, the gene needs to be present in both parents. It is also possible to take a genetic test to see if you have possessed the colorblindness trait. There are other ways to get colorblindness than to be born with it. If the retina or the nerve that connects the eye to the brain is damaged, colorblindness can appear later in life. Aging is also another cause, where colorblindness can happen gradually over time. It is also caused by diseases such as diabetes and multiple sclerosis. At the moment, there is no true cure or treatment for color vision deficiency. However, there are lens and glasses being created that can brighten colors for the user and help with seeing them. Scientists are researching the effect of gene therapy to treat colorblindness. Researchers tested gene therapy on two monkeys that could not tell the difference between two colors and restored their vision. Other ways are still being studied to cure this disorder. There are very few things that still need to be researched besides a cure. Ways to correct the deficiency including contacts and glasses. Other forms of colorblindness could also be looked into more and whether or not gene therapy can actually treat the disorder. Although colorblindness itself isn't life-threatening, the effects of it can be dangerous. Mixing up traffic light colors such as red and green, and not being able to read warning signs on labels or medications could be harmful. There are a couple ways for people to test for colorblindness. Usually people will take the Ishihara and Enchroma test for colorblindness, as seen on the right. These tests will decipher whether or not the person testing has any form of colorblindness. As mentioned before, there is also a genetics test for people to take. The resources used didn't indicate any bias towards the subject. I used sources off the school database and their government website, which biases or hidden agendas aren't usually apparent. This is because they aren't trying to sell anything and are trying to inform the reader. They want the people to know the effects, problems, causes, and other information on colorblindness.